it's gonna take time <laughs> your body did carry a whole child for nine months let's be for real <laughs> hello hello welcome if you're new welcome for the first time if you're not new welcome back so i just wanted to insert this video <laughs> and just have a little quick chat about postpartum weight loss and the journey of all that right so as i shared in my other videos um i did have a c-section with him and we thank god so much that everything went well There's no complications i'm healthy he's healthy so we thank god um but during the pregnancy um, I did gain weight. It was the normal amount of weight that you're supposed to gain. Um, but I was already kind of in a space when I got pregnant where I was like, oh, I really wish I could shed a couple pounds. And if you guys know anything about my backstory, I've done fitness stuff for a while. I used to do bodybuilding for a short period of time, lost a lot of weight. Excuse me, realized that that wasn't going to be healthy for me. Um, and so, and so I didn't continue in that kind of space. Um, but I've always had this passion for fitness. Um, even since a little girl, being like thicker and things like that, I just always wanted to be able to um, get to a healthy weight and maintain good proper health and stuff like that. So um, I knew that, you know, postpartum, I'd seen enough <laughs> stories and videos to know that people have their own weight loss journeys and stuff like that. So I wasn't really trying to rush the pot process, but I didn't want to be diligent. So the first couple of weeks were literally just healing, not doing anything, trying to just take care of him, get by day by day, but probably around the month mark or so. Um, once I went back to my doctor and I got cleared to like walk and do different movements and stuff like that, I've slowly tried to incorporate um, that stuff back into my routine. So like, um walking like my goal right now is every week is just walking like five days a week for 30 minutes slowly incorporating back like body weight movements um and then i'll slowly start adding some light weight and picking the weight back up and things like you know just slowly doing what i've done already like in reverse um but i had you know i was doing pretty good i got myself a little plan that i started i was doing good um before i thought was good, was good and I stood on the scale one time and it was like up and I was like that's crazy like I'm doing all this stuff and you know I didn't feel bad but it just reminded me like okay this is really gonna be a journey one thing I'm learning with this postpartum weight loss situation is like one it's gonna take time <laughs> your body did carry a whole child for nine months let's be for real you know and we thank God that God created our bodies to do that but that doesn't mean that they won't change they do change you know and you know being patient with that and knowing that hey we're not going back to what i used to look like we're going to forward to whatever god says my body needs to look like and even right now being able to embrace what it what it is you know today um and so yeah it's been quite a journey but as far as it stands right now um i am trying to still do the walks do the body weights i've put myself on my own meal plan because that's something i used to do with my friend when we had our business is do meal plans based on all the things I learned from the bodybuilding industry and, in, and nutrition and stuff. Um, so, and putting together a plan that I'm eating nutritious whole foods, but I'm also eating enough to breastfeed properly. That's another thing. You don't want to cut calories low when you're breastfeeding. So, all these things I'm learning. It's been such a journey. I think the biggest thing is patience and consistency. When I weighed myself the last time and did my check-in, um, I was down some and I thank God for that. So it's going good, but it's gonna take time. And I just wanted to come on and kind of talk about that because I feel like everyone has their different journeys when it comes to postpartum weight loss or postpartum health and fitness. It does take time. Like, um, and that's patience is not something that I'm always <laughs> willing to grow in. Um, but it's one of those things that's just gonna take time. You know, every day is not gonna be perfect. Every moment is not gonna be perfect, but just being showing up consistently, um, you know, to honor God for ourselves, for our families is so important. Um, and one thing I'm learning too about like with pregnancy weight is different than in other seasons where I've tried to do like, you know, a healthy journey or whatever, like carrying a child because of how you have the belly and all that, your weight is distributed differently in your body. Oh my God, this bit's here. Differently, so, um, you know, for me, the, you know, I carry side pretty low. And so now, you know, you can see in my back, they're like <laughs> these two back rolls that I'm like 
no matter what looks like it's melting off those back rolls are there um obviously the belly is still not as poked out but just the excess skin um especially with the c-section um it is going down but it is the you know so all these type of things and even the way that it changes how i've had to wear clothes like certain pants um it might get over my legs but it won't get over like my belly because of the way that my body is shaped right now um so just trying to embrace these things instead of fight against them not trying to rush myself out of the moment either and one thing my friend taylor she said to me yesterday on facetime she was like you know you're beautiful your body was beautiful you're beautiful when you got pregnant with him you're beautiful when you're carrying him and you're beautiful even now before you get to whatever weight loss school whatever so this is just i'm encouraging myself and hopefully encouraging another mama out there or just anyone else out there who you feel like you're in this you know journey for i don't know if you're trying to get healthier if you're trying to heal something and you try to you know eat better and cleaner if you're trying to put on weight and you know whatever your your case may be um god says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we're not perfect but we are beautiful and where we are today is beautiful you know again if you're on your own journey just to encourage you to be patient and consistent everything everything in time um i'm looking forward to wearing jeans again <laughs> at some point i am finna buy some shapewear because you know there's certain things that you don't want to look you know just taste for a look like feel uncomfortable in um but at the same time learning how to embrace my body as well where it is because look at him he's like sleep look at him oh his curls are popping let's get into it please um but yeah, so that's where we're at. So hopefully this encouraged you. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Um, like this video, comment down below if you did enjoy it. Share it with a friend if you feel like it encouraged another mom or another person at all. Um, I'll probably add a couple clips to this just of some of those workouts. <laughs> I don't even know if I thought that was where it was. Some of, those, some of the workouts um, as well as maybe some of the meals in this video. But I love you guys. And here are either some clips or it might go to a whole completely different video. But I love you guys. Um, have an amazing, amazing week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, so on this day, I just was going to the gym to do a 30-minute walk. And then I followed it up with some simple moves. So I've started my push-ups on the wall just to build back the strength up in my arms and my back. Because actual push-ups are very hard. So I've been mixing them up, doing both, of course, body weight squats. Um, to start getting my joints moving again and building up strength in my legs and calves and the wall sits those are really really good um to build up quads to build up core strength and stability um and then i finished up with some stretches